All right, happy Tuesday. Good morning, good morning. So I am making a video for anyone out there who has somebody close to them most of the time, ironically, right? That has an opinion in a negative way to give to you when you share with them your positive dreams and aspirations to be more than what you're doing at this current season. So if you're out there and you got friends or even family members or even your spouse and you're telling them about, hey, I want to take more vacations. I want to have more financial income coming in. I want to retire before I'm 50 years old. If these are aspirations and things that you desire and you share with someone and someone has nothing but negativity or they come back with some type of skepticism to where you're sitting there like, damn, the person I love the most or I respect the most is the one that has the most negative opinion, then this video is for you. So how do you deal with that? Simple. Pick and choose who you tell your aspirations and dreams to. Everybody's not worth knowing your dream, okay? Because guess what? A lot of people's dreams have come to a halt because they shared it with somebody that they believe, you know, they believe their opinion about them more than they believed about their opinion of themselves. And the funny thing is, other people are going to see you differently than you see yourself, naturally, right? So if you go out here and you be like, man, I'm fat, somebody else is going to say, nah, you look good. Or if you have, you know, a certain type of, of, of clothes on and you just bought it and you think it looks good, somebody else might not think it looks good. But my whole point is you got to be wise about how you distribute information and who you distribute it to. Just because they're your family doesn't mean they're going to ride for you. Just because you've known them since high school don't mean they're going to be riding for you. Everybody goes through different seasons in their lives. And guess what? Here's a surprise. A lot of people are not happy with themselves. Why the hell would they be happy for you? So you got to be wise about who you tell your information to and minimize the toxicity that you receive from people that are not for you. You know, and and, and not only that, I want to say this too. Not everybody who opposes you is toxic. Like you could have a family member who's genuinely concerned and they might be coming from a good place, but they, they're, they're, they're skeptic because it's not something they think about doing. You know how many people right now are working a job and they desire to have a better paying job with, with more vacation time, or they decide to work for themselves, but they're so afraid to do it because they've been programmed to think that they can't do for themselves and they have to depend on the job, or they've been programmed to think, I can't strive to make six figures because I don't have the accolades that this other person has, so they stay content in this bubble. Those type of people might mean well, but they living on fear. Because there's a lot of people living in fear right now. I don't care what they say. If we really get real, they're living in fear, right? And they know it. So they might put their fear and concerns into you and they're coming from a good place. And then you receive that information. Either you mistake it for being toxic or hating, or you get a little bit upset and you're like, man, I don't live like you. And then it causes, you know, some internal drama. So the way to, re to minimize all that, honestly, is two suggestions that I have, right? Make sure you surround yourself around people who are actually doing what you strive to do. So if you want to dream big, then go around people who have also dreamed big and made it work. Second suggestion, surround yourself around like-minded people. So if they hadn't made it work at the moment, they might be in the process and going that route. You need to go join hands and hold hands and go walk the same route that they're going on. Because once you're interconnected with somebody like that, you're going to feed off of that energy. Otherwise, if you're locked into telling your dreams to somebody who's either living in fear or they're just toxic, then that's the kind of avenue and battle you're going to spend your energy on instead of focusing on what's going to get you to where you're trying to go. So in short summary, minimize toxicity. Recognize who's toxic and who's for you. And you know, but some of you guys justify it because they're your family member, you know, or they're your spouse or they're your friend. At the end of the day, it hurts. But at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you straight up to protect your peace of mind. You got to share, keep it within yourself. You know, I believe in sharing it with a higher power. That's just my humble opinion. But if you don't subscribe to a higher power, that's cool. At least share it with a like-minded person or somebody who's doing it. Like I mentioned, let's agree on those two things for sure. And if you do those two things, then, hey, you increase your chance in trying to go to where you're trying to go. So I just hope this video helps get to somebody out there because there's so much you know, out there with toxicity and negativity. And so many people are being uh, blindsided and distracted and they give up because of what someone else's opinion is. Man, they ain't walking your shoes. They, they, their goals are not your goals. And I believe goals is an acronym for getting over all life setbacks. So if you have goals 
that are not in the norm or, or whatever people are commonly used to hearing. I, like, for example, and I'll leave you with this. What if you wanted to drop what you're doing today and move to another state or move to another country to, to restart, right? You know how many people, if you just ask them, go do a poll, see for yourself. Ask 10 people in your family and friends sphere and say, hey, I'm thinking about moving to a whole nother state or another country. You know, what you, what you think about that? Some people going to be like, why, why would you do that? You know, or they might be excited for you. But you'll see based on the reaction, you'll know who, you know, is, is for, is worth telling that to and who's not. You do that little experiment. And then when you get to what you really want to do, then you can see if they pass or fail the test. That's what I'd be doing. I'd be analyzing people and seeing like, okay, but I know who's for me and who's not. And that's why like people keep their circles very small. I don't operate like that. I just keep my circles what they are because some people are in different seasons. I can keep a circle small, but what if my small circles in a different season where well, they don't want to hear about that? They might've had drink big and got burnt and now they're going to be the worst person. And they're in my small circle. I keep my circle based on, you know, how I deal with people. And that's just how I roll. And I find myself having to deal less with toxicity because there are people in different seasons, different places in their life. And today they could be good and tomorrow they might not be good. It depends on what avenue or aspect I'm presenting to them. And we all have our different, you know, thing. But the best people to surround yourself are consistent people who are constantly pouring into you and somebody who will pray for you behind closed doors. That's my humble opinion. Hope this video helps. Get rid of the toxicity, at least minimize it. You can still love people from a distance, but minimize them and go for your goals, dream big, and stop having limitations. Break all those barriers today. Over and out.